The championship is back, folks, for some midweek actions. That means you get a bonus episode of predictions, more predictions, more of me. Oh, OK. It's match day, game week, week 11, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to give you my in-depth, detailed analysis on these games like I always do and give you some predictions you can take to the bank. What are the rules? Well, we only have one rule, and that is Oxford always win. <laughs> or maybe I should change it now to Oxford rarely lose. No, let's keep it to Oxford always win because they're bound to win on Tuesday. Let's dive in to these predictions. And let's start with two sides that had amazing results at the weekend. Cardiff versus Portsmouth. Let's start with Pompey. Pompey, get in there, guys. You got your first win of the season. That's the Pompey I remember from last season. That's the Pompey I know and, well, I won't, won't want to say love, but respected Darn right respected. But God damn it, do I respect you. Season up and running for Pompey. But they come up against the Cardiff side who absolutely thrashed Plymouth Argyle. Pulled their pants down, smacked bottom, sent them back to Devon. So Cardiff will be thinking they can get two home wins in a row. Pompey two away wins in a row. But we know what's going to happen, isn't it? Gentlemen's agreement, handshakes all round, 1-1 one, one draw. Leeds United versus Watford, and again, talking about sides that had impressive performances, Leeds looked the real deal in that victory over Sheffield United. Worrying for the rest, are they in their groove now? Are they going to start running away with this championship? Well, they're not top yet, but maybe they will be after this round of games. Watford destroyed, horrible result, death by set pieces against Luton Town, horrible way to go down in your derby, and this is not the game you want following up from that. They'll want a response, but they won't get it, and Leeds are going to tear the Hornets apart. I'm going for a big win for the Whites. Leeds United 4, Watford nil. Oxford United versus Derby County, undoubtedly the biggest game of this midweek round of fixtures. I'm sure you will all agree. Two sides promoted from League One last season. Two sides matching each other stride for stride so far. 13 points for both these clubs after 10 games. But I need to cast your memory back to this. Because I haven't forgotten this. And this hurt. This was a painful defeat at the end of the last calendar year. And don't think that anybody in Oxford has forgotten this derby. And you may have got your first away point of the season against Millwall, but do not think you can come to Fortress Kassam and get anything from our home ground this time around. Oxford want Ravengi. Oxford are going to get Ravengi. It's going to be a reversal of that painful scoreline. Oxford United 3 Derby County 2. <laughs> Preston North End versus Norwich City. Yeah, Preston, impressive victory. Nice victory for them. Actually, one I actually got right with their victory over Coventry City, heaping more misery on the Sky Blues. And yeah, looking pretty resolute under old hecking bottom. But I do fancy this Norwich side, and I'm going to continue to back this Norwich side, even though they didn't get, I didn't get the goal bonanza that I thought I was going to get in their game against Stoke. But I think the Canaries can go up north and survive the coal mine. I don't know if that analogy works, but I think Norwich are going to win. Preston 1, Norwich City 2. Sheffield Wednesday versus Swansea City. Wednesday are their own worst enemy at times in games. It looked like they were doing pretty well against Burnley. Then a couple of bloody mistakes. And all of you know, they, they end up with nothing. It looks a pretty comfortable away win for Burnley. But I'm not necessarily sure that was the case. And uh, Danny Roll will want a response. And I think this is the perfect game for Sheffield Wednesday to have. As I said, I'm not a massive fan of this Swansea City side. And... I feel that they are going to start falling down the table and it's going to be another defeat on the road for the Swans. And I think this is going to be a handsome victory for the Owls, like what they had over Plymouth on the opening day. Not as many goals, though. Sheffield Wednesday, three. Swansea City, nil. 
Stoke City versus Bristol City, a tale of two cities. Before we go and talk about anything about this game, I've got to talk about our old boss, Liam Manning. Terrible news, devastating news. I hope him and his family are going to be okay after this. It's something that nobody should have to live through and everybody's thoughts, prayers should be with the Manning family because... Oh, yikes. Terrible, terrible news. And uh, yeah, so let's go back to this game after that. Um, yeah, Stoke, decent result against Norwich. 1-1 one, one draw. Bristol City, excellent result against Middlesbrough. Kind of picked their pocket a little bit, but uh, that should give them confidence going into this one. But I can never, ever tell what Bristol City are going to do. And I just have to have this one marked as another draw. So I'm going to go for Stoke City 1, Bristol City 1. QPR versus Coventry City, and I hate to see this because you are starting to see fans turn a little bit on Mark Robbins, and it's understandable in some degrees because they are struggling. You wonder if that his time, if he has come to the end of his road with Coventry, do you need to make a managerial change because things are just not going well at the moment? QPR, though. How do you lose to Portsmouth at home? Made me look like an absolute mug. And I that for that reason alone, I cannot back the R's who sunk to the bottom. You deserve it, QPR. So, sunk to the bottom of the championship table. And I can't give them any joy here because I have to back the Sky Blues. I really want Coventry to start climbing up the table. I feel they're far too good of a side to be languishing where they are. And I feel this could be where the tide turns, hopefully. Although if it's not, I'll just keep backing them every single week. But for this one, I'm going to be right. QPR nil, Coventry City 2. Blackburn Rovers versus West Bromwich Albion. Two sides who've got very good starts to the season. Blackburn, very good side at home. West Brom, very good side away from home. Should have won at the Kassam Stadium, really. It was nailed on for a 1-0 victory for the Baggies. But they left the door open for Oxford and Captain Scarlett came and uh, denied them that victory on the road. So Baggies fans are starting to get a little bit frustrated with their side. I think that's maybe four games, maybe three games without a win. I think it is actually four. But this is a tricky place to go because Blackburn are a very good side on their own patch. Um, and really, West Brom are so rock solid at the back. I could see this. I can see this one being a bit of a damp squib, and uh, both sides just kind of coming away with a point. Reputations intact. Not going to be a classic. This will probably end up being five all now. But I'm going to go for a draw. My customary nil nil is here. Blackburn Rovers nil. West Bromwich Albion nil. Hull City versus Burnley. Uh, yeah, look, I haven't seen Hull play Sunderland. That game is going to be played just a few minutes after I've done this recording. So the Tigers may have absolutely smashed the Black Cats, which might have changed my opinion on this one. But I fancy the Clarets to get back-to-back -back away wins. They're just such a difficult side to play against. Uh, just control the ball for so many large periods, and eventually they will create some chances. And I just think Hull, they won't enjoy playing against a side like that. They'll want to be on the attack. They'll want to be on the front foot they might be able to counter against them really well but I feel they might be a little too gung-ho and Burnley will be able to just pick them off so I'm going to back the Clarets here I, I think it still will be quite a tight scoreline I'm going to go for Hull City 1 Burnley 2. Luton versus Sunderland look once again as I said I haven't seen Sunderland play Hull um, but uh, this one is coming up against a Luton side who've definitely got their mojo back after the victory in their derby game against Watford. It was a big victory um, and one that they very much needed. It was kind of a uh, victory via set pieces, which is absolutely fine, but that seems like where Luton are going to be most dangerous. And uh, I just feel that this you might have got that kind of woken the beast a little bit with Luton Town after that victory. And I, I do expect this one to be quite a tough game for Sunderland but I also feel that Luton are quite susceptible themselves and uh, so I think this one will be quite a high scoring draw I'm gonna go for a Desmond I'm gonna go for Luton 2 Sunderland 2. Millwall versus Plymouth 
Yikes, Plymouth. What a terrible result. I mean, the, the difference between you guys playing at home park and playing away is quite stark. Even going back to last season, got a really poor long standing record on the road now. And coming up against a Lions side who are good on their own patch, good in their own den, you could say. And they scrambled back, should have beat Derby really, but they scrambled back to get a draw in that one. So that's commendable for them. And uh, yeah, I, I feel that this one should be a pretty comfortable home win for Luton. That is where the money is really, isn't it? You would say, um, although Plymouth will want a response, but it kind of shows you that they're not too good at getting responses when they are on the road. And I just feel this is going to be a comfortable win for Millwall. I'm going to go for Millwall 2, Plymouth 0. And finally, Middlesbrough versus Sheffield United. Um, I can't stand predicting Middlesbrough games. I don't know what you're going to do. Everything I do goes the opposite. And I just can't work you out as a football club. You absolutely threw that game away against Bristol City and then you couldn't get back into it. Sheffield United, though, are a wounded animal after that defeat in that Yorkshire derby to Leeds. But don't worry, Blades fans, because... I think the next time you have come up against a Yorkshire club, you will beat them. And that one will mean a lot more. And if you didn't lose that unbeaten run against Leeds, you only would have lost it to Oxford at the end of November. And you don't want to be losing that to Oxford, I can tell you. So, I, because I just don't know what Middlesbrough are going to do, I'm just going to refuse to back them now. And I think you're going to see a nice response from Christy Wilder's side. Nice and comfortable, back to basics. Easy as you like. 2-0 win. Middlesbrough 0, Sheffield United 2. That's it, folks. That's my predictions for these midweek fixtures. You can take them with a pinch of salt if you like, but my recommendation is go to the bookies and put all your money <laughs> on these happening. And if you believe that, you'll believe absolutely anything. But I'll be back to do plenty of videos this week. I'll be doing a review for Oxford United versus Derby. So please do check those reviews out. I need some help with those review videos. And I'll be back to do another predictions video for the mid round of games at the weekend. And then I'll be back to do a review video of whoever Oxford are playing. I think it's Sunderland at the weekend as well. So thank you very much for watching. Continue to put your predictions and comments down below. I really enjoy hearing from all the different range of fans that we have out there and remember i don't really know what i'm talking about thanks very much i'll be back very soon my work is done here what do you mean your work is done you don't do anything <laughs> didn't i